Advice and best practices for beginners in data science. Hi, everybody. If you're looking to become a full-time data scientist and AI expert from scratch, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm about to reveal some easy ways to start a data science career. But let's just look at why people of all ages are intrigued by a career in data science. The interest of the general public has been stirred greatly after Harvard Business Review dubbed data science as the sexiest job of the 21st century. Many people are now keen about how they themselves can become data scientists. I'll give you some useful advice and best practices for beginners in data science today. Let's start with the first one. Number one, ignore the myths around data science. During the last few years, the data science field has become the holy grail of employment. But at the same time, this field has attracted several myths around it as well. The three most popular data science myths doing the rounds these days are, you need at least a PhD to have a realistic chance of becoming a data scientist. It's even better if you have two. You'll need to participate in data science competitions. Only then you'll know how the industry works. You really need tons of computational resources to develop deep learning models. The top tech firms are the only places where you can get that. There are several other myths floating around as well. All these myths have added a false aura around the different roles in data science, but don't fall for any of them. Fortunately, none of these myths are true. If you believe any of these myths, you'll think only geniuses can enter the data science field. You need to navigate through this clutter and find your own path. That is the best way you can respond to these myths. I would advise you to focus on trying to understand the practical use cases of data science, as well as the specific requirements of each role. You can do this by first identifying a problem that you are truly passionate about solving. Next, examine if you can apply data science techniques there. Number two, invest in the right computer. You'll need a reliable computer to execute all your data science processing tasks, and your computer needs to be fast to handle massive and complex data science data. So, invest in a desktop or laptop that ticks every quality box needed for trouble-free work. One great feature of most desktops, and some laptops as well, is that you have plenty of room to add more components as software demands change with time. You need this upgradable option as you can improve the performance of your computer. You can also keep your computer running smoothly for a long time without having to change it every year. Hence, you need to buy a computer that has the option to install more upgrades, both hardware and software. Buying the right computer isn't the end of the matter. Optimal maintenance of your computer is vital for top performance and long-term use. You need to install a premium anti-malware program and carry out regular hard disk cleanups. You also need to update all the software and get rid of junk periodically. Ensure you have the right computer functioning smoothly before taking up data science beginner projects. Any computer-related delays will cost you valuable time and kill your morale, too. Number three, learn Python. Python is by far the most widely used programming language in the data science universe today. The rule of thumb is as a beginner in data science, you need to select one language or tool and stick to it. I'm not saying you shouldn't be proficient in more than one data science language. In fact, if you are proficient in more than one language, that would be great, but it may not always be practical. Needless to say, the data science language or tool you choose is crucial, and this can be a difficult choice, especially for a beginner. The best way to begin your data science journey would be by picking up any of the mainstream languages and tools. The top ones include Python, C++, SQL, R, MATLAB, Java, JavaScript, TensorFlow, Swift, Scala, and Julia. A language, at best, is simply a means for implementation. What's important is you need to remain focused on understanding the concept. Python, with its extensive library support, holds a clear edge over the others. The easiest way to start your data science journey is to enroll in the AI Sciences Python Machine Learning Crash Course for Beginners on Udemy. The well-planned, step-by-step design of this course makes getting started with Python easy. There are several short video tutorials in this course. In every new tutorial, you build on what you have already learned and move one extra step forward. The increasing advancements in the Python ecosystem mean there are abundant employment opportunities. You can easily bring your career to the next level by applying yourself and dedicating meaningful time to learning Python. Number four, 
Learn statistics. Statistics is the mainstay of data science. The only way you can render qualitative problems into quantitative solutions is through statistics. But statistics isn't a plain sailing subject. It involves tons of mathematics and lots of thinking. Nevertheless, completing a couple of courses in probability and statistics is a great idea. You can gradually fine-tune your statistics knowledge. This is another area in which AI sciences can help you. Their course, Mastering Probability and Statistics in Python on Udemy, covers statistics in great detail. This comprehensive course will teach you the concepts and methodologies of statistics and probability with data science. Why learn statistics? The reason you need to learn statistics is because the building blocks of machine learning or ML algorithms are mathematics and statistics. You really need to master the basics to become a competent data scientist. You need a clear understanding of the techniques behind different machine learning algorithms. Only then you'll know how to use these algorithms and when to use them. Data scientists use statistics to process complex real-world problems in the workplace. They look for significant changes and trends in data. Data scientists typically perform mathematical computations on data first, then they use statistics to derive meaningful insights from this data. Number five, learn programming. You don't need to be a great programmer to become a data scientist. You can consider pursuing a career in data science even if you lack programming skills. Although programming is an essential skill in this field, you don't need to be a die-hard programmer. What you really need is a diverse skill set. You need to be comfortable with the basics of programming to be successful in the data science field. You need to understand the elementary concepts of programming, such as functions, loops, if-else, and programming logic. This is one more area in which AI sciences can help you. Their course, Python for Data Science and Data Analysis on Udemy, covers the basics of programming. This course will enable you to build a data science foundation, whether you have basic Python skills or not. The code along and well-planned out exercises will make you feel comfortable with the Python syntax right from the outset. At the end of this short course, you'll be proficient in the fundamentals of Python programming for data science and data analysis. Number six, focus on improving your communication skills. Improving your communication skills can help advance your career in data science. Without effective communication skills, you could wrongly be perceived as not being a team player and this could potentially damage your career prospects even if you are a talented data scientist. Practice active listening. The most effective way to improve your communication skills is to become a great listener. But active listening requires deliberate practice. It involves truly hearing and assimilating everything that other person tells you. Active listening is different from casual listening. In casual listening, you are only thinking about what you need to say next. In active listening, however, you repeat back everything that the other person said exactly as you heard it. You'll need to add a statement along the lines of, let me make certain I understand what you said just now. This way, you can make your listening seem more natural. The other thing is active listening involves asking questions. When you do this, you are engaging the other person, and you're showing them that you're genuinely interested in hearing their thoughts on an issue. Practice active listening each time you're in a casual conversation with a friend. You'll be amazed how quickly you can improve your communication skills. With minimal effort, you can improve the way other people perceive you. Number seven, don't focus only on learning the theoretical concepts of data science. Focus on learning the practical applications as well. Most beginners in data science make a major mistake while they pursue a training course. They focus too much on theoretical concepts. As a result, they fail to give equal importance to the practical applications of the theoretical concepts they are learning. I want to assure you that you will never face this problem if you enroll in one of our data science courses. At AI Sciences, we have taken a hands-on approach to address this all-important concern. All our courses are specially designed learning by doing courses. We give equal importance to the practical applications of the theoretical concepts you learn. You need to be a sincere student too, and you need to be disciplined in your learning. The best way to sharpen your practical data science skills is by completing all the homework, tasks, exercises, and assignments at the end of each section or module. Ensure all your solutions are correct. In the case they're not, you can always interact with the course instructor and clear your doubts. Another effective approach to developing your practical data science skills is to participate in data science competitions. Don't let your skill level bother you. A data science competition will help you augment your skills even if you're a beginner. Number eight, 
understand the projects you complete during your various training courses and be prepared to discuss them during your job interview. This advice is essentially a continuation of the topic I covered in the previous point, and this is easily the most important piece of advice in this entire video. I'm sure you're serious about starting your data science journey on the right note. Please listen carefully. The whole point of pursuing a data science course is to find gainful employment. In this context, it is extremely important to have projects in your portfolio. When you have projects in your portfolio, it is so much easier for you to answer the how would you do this type of interview questions. This is yet another area that AI Sciences has you covered. All AI Sciences courses have many projects that you need to complete. We want to ensure you'll not be giving vague answers at an interview. Instead, we want you to be prepared. Successful completion of any of our courses will enable you to show the interviewer concrete examples of how you are prepared to handle a real-world situation at the workplace. It isn't easy, though. You'll need to work hard during your data science training course. Make sure you understand the complete data science workflow. That is, you need to learn the right way to piece everything together. This is rather simple if you complete the many projects in our courses that give you an opportunity to practice key steps. Examples such as model training or data cleaning, for example. Review the many projects you have completed. Before you attend an interview, take the time to practice project presentations from any course you have completed. Tip number nine, strive to develop your domain knowledge. What is domain knowledge? Domain knowledge is your knowledge of a specific field or industry. Data science doesn't exist in a vacuum. It is essentially a multidisciplinary field. All the advice so far was on acquiring machine learning knowledge and technical skills. That's perfectly all right, but it's time now to move beyond the beginner level. There's only one way you can stand above your competition. It's by learning more about the specific industry you wish to enter. So, developing domain knowledge is a decisive factor in becoming a competent data science professional. Let me explain. For instance, if you're interviewing for a job in the healthcare industry, brush up on some fundamental healthcare concepts. Likewise, if you're interviewing for a job in the legal industry, brush up on some basic legal jargon. And if you're interviewing for a job in a startup, gain a competitive edge over the other candidates by learning about its market. Hence, taking a bit of extra initiative is one of the best things you can do in the data science profession. It can only help you to break into the data science universe, but it can also pay you huge dividends in terms of a higher pay package. Tip number 10. Keep updating your knowledge of the data science field all the time. As you're aware, data science is probably one of the fastest evolving fields today. Let me put this in the right perspective. What was relevant just two years ago may no longer be relevant. This is the reason you need to constantly update your knowledge. The most cost-effective way to learn more about this field is to follow the most popular data science blogs. These blogs present you with an inside perspective on everything related to your job as a data science professional. You also get an opportunity to stay informed of the most recent happenings within the industry. Data science blogs offer you useful advice on learning resources, as well as opinions from authority figures and current news and trends. Joining a peer group is another cost-effective way to update your data science knowledge. An online peer group helps you stay in touch with a bunch of folks who share identical career goals. When you interact with people who are pursuing similar data science courses as yourself, learning new concepts can seem less burdensome. You can also have compelling technical discussions over the internet. Some of the online forums that present you with this kind of environment include DataQuest, Analytics Vidya, Our Team for Data Analysis, data scientists, and Stack Exchange. If you're interested in learning more about becoming a data scientist, then be sure to check out our courses at the first link in the description. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos helping you to start your data science and AI career and more. Check out this playlist of our data science and machine learning lessons and see you in the next video. Take care.